Good evening, on this last Sunday before Christmas. The Christmas season is a time for the family, and so I'd like to introduce my family. This is my wife, Nancy. Good evening. And our daughter, Patty. Say hello, honey. Hello. Christmas is also a time for music. And tonight, we're going to present a musical story. The same musical play that won so much praise last year. A Child is Born, from the pen of Stephen Vincent Benet, set to music especially composed and conducted by Academy Award winner Bernard Herrmann. And our cast is equally celebrated. Miss Nadine Connor, Robert Middleton with Marion Seldes, and introducing Harv Presnell, supported by the Roger Wagner Chorale. Now, about our play. Our story takes place in a small inn, far away in the sleepy little town of Bethlehem of Judea. This is a town where men and women live their lives as people do in troubled times. Times when the world is shaken. This is an inn. A woman sings there in the early morning. Yes, I know, I know. Fanatics, rabble, fools. Seekers of some vague kingdom in the stars. They hide out in the hills and stir up trouble. <laughs> Call themselves prophets, too. And prophesy that something new is coming to the world. Something must come. All right. Believe it if you choose. But meanwhile, if we're clever, we can live. And even thrive a little. Come, wife. I didn't mean to be so angry with you. You're still the girl with the grave eyes and the brook-running voice I took without a dower or a price out of your father's house. And they've not been so bad the years since then. No, have they? No. That's right. Give us a kiss. I couldn't help the child. He was my son, too. I couldn't help his dying. No, my husband. He stretched his little arms to me and died. Yet I had the priest, the high priest, too. I didn't spare the money.
Aren't up yet. Please, Bones. A minute, just a minute. Good morning. Hail Caesar. Are you keeper of this inn? Yes, sir. Orders from the prefect. No other guests will be entertained at your inn tonight after sundown. The prefect wishes all the rooms to be at the disposal of his guests. All the rooms? You've heard your orders? Yes, sir. Yes, indeed, sir. Soon that they're carried out. No other guests. Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar. Well, that's pleasant. All rooms at the disposal of the prefect. No other guests. I will remember. Do so. Leah, Sarah, where are those lazy servants? Where's the fish? Where's the new bread? Why haven't we begun? Leah, Sarah, come and help your mistress. Round, round, the fools have work to do today. In Bethlehem of Judea, there shall be born a child, a child born of woman, and yet undefiled. And the day passed and night fell on the town, silent, still, and cold. The houses lay huddled in dark beneath the watching stars, and only the inn windows streamed with light. <laughs> Expecting in might have some well-mannered mates. Why are you sitting there staring at the fire so, so silent, the waiting so still? I do not know. I'm waiting. Waiting? For what? I do not know. For something new and strange. Something I dreamt about long ago in sunshine and the summer grass of childhood when the sky seemed so near. I wouldn't know its shape. It's 
tired, my dear. Well, we shall sleep soon. No, I'm not tired. I am as expectant as a child. What's that? I don't care who they are. They can't come in. We have no room. I'm sorry, sir, but we have no room tonight. The prefect's orders. No room at all. No, no, it's not my fault. I'm not my own master. Not tonight, perhaps in the morning. Wait. Must you mix in this? Well, sir, the enemy are in our house and we... no room here, that's true. But there is a stable at the inn, safe from the cold at least. And if you choose, you may share it. Will you share it? Gladly and with great joy. Nay, nay, I will take it. I can see the fact. Come on. The people of our town. Come in. Frost upon the air tonight. I'm cold. Yes, that that must be it. I'm cold. Come in. Shut the door. Something begins. Starlit and sunlit. Something walks abroad in flesh. is loosed to change the shaken world. Night deepens, the stars march in the sky. The prefect's men are gone, and the innkeeper drowses before the fire. The inn is quiet, but in the road outside, Yes, stand away from that window. You're selling girl. I'll speak to them. 
Oh, gracious noble masters, worthy mighty kings, our humble inn is honored by your high nobility. We cannot stay, we cannot stay, we follow the brightness. I don't understand it, they're gone. They follow the poor shepherds to the stable. Peace, husband. You know well enough why none would tarry with us. And so do I. In the night I lay a while in sleep. And a voice said to me, A child, a child is born. And yet I did not rise and go to him. For I was jealous that my child should die and her child live. I have my judgment and it is just. And now he has come. Dreams. Were they dreams, the shepherds and the kings? Is it a dream, this glory that we feel streaming upon us? And yet not for us. Oh, mistress, mistress, the fault was mine, not yours. You told me seek the strangers in the stable and see they had all care. But I forgot. You told me all. And I well remember. Did not go. There were any fault, boy. It was mine. I did not wish to turn them from my door. Yet I know I love the chink of money. I love too well the good, sound, thumping coin. And there are many like me. God pity us. God pity us, for we are human, and do not always see the vision when it comes. The shining change, for if we see it, do not follow it. And now I know this. Dismas. You know, the star, flea bitten sort of boy who haunts dark alleyways in any town, begs what he can, and borrows what he must. A thief! How did you get here? What else have you taken? Nothing. I tried the stable first, slipped in while all your honest backs were turned. And then? And then? Well, something happened. I didn't see your shepherds or your kings, but in the stable, I did see the child, just through a crack in the boards. One moment's space. Is he for me as well? Is he for me? For you as well. Is he for all of us? There are so many of us, worthy mistress. Beggars who show their sores and ask for alms. Women who cough their lungs out in the cold. And the glassy of the wretched and the poor. Has he come to all of us? Or just to you? If he has really come 
come to all of us, I'd say to all of you. I'd hang upon a cross for him. I will tell you this, it won't be till each of us is willing. that you see there by the window? The dawn, the shepherds, and the kings have gone. He is alone. He must not be alone. I do not understand you, wife. Nor I. It's my prettiest. It's not much, but he might play with it. I have a bell my father gave me. It used to make me merry. I have kept it. He may have it. My pocket's empty, but I can sing to him. That's what I'll do. And if he ever needs a thief to die. I would give all my gold. I will give my heart. And I... I see. Though I forget, though I am led astray, though after this I never see the child again, I will give all my faith. Come, let us go to him, faithful through the mortal years. Come. Oh, come, all ye faithful, Joyful and triumphant, O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Oh, 
A Child is Born, beautifully told by Stephen Vincent Benet, with music especially composed and conducted by Academy Award winner Bernard Herrmann, and beautifully played and sung by Robert Middleton, Miss Nadine Connor, Marion Seldes, Harv Presnell, and the Roger Wagner Chorale. The Christmas story never seems to grow old, does it? Perhaps because of the things it stands for, faith and brotherhood, ideals that guide our lives today just as they did 2,000 years ago. I'm sure you've seen many examples of this faith and brotherhood in your own neighborhood, among your friends. And we have them in our General Electric family. For instance, the school children of Everett and Malden, Massachusetts, could tell you about this gentleman, Henry Sheridan, a guard at the General Electric plant in Everett. He's organized a club for them, the Freedom Trail Explorers. Its purpose? To visit the historic shrines in the Boston area and inspire the kids to be better citizens. It's growing fast. This gentleman here rescued a mother and her two children from a burning house. Paul Willis of the Everdale plant near Cincinnati spotted the fire while driving. Disregarding his own safety, he smashed down the front door, wakened the family, and led them all to safety. Now, here's the City of Cleveland's Volunteer of the Year Award winner, Ellen Sauer from the Nela Park plant, who gives her free hours to the adolescent girls in the Catherine Horseman home, bringing them comfort and encouragement and love. Helping young people help themselves find themselves as the contribution of Martinez Groth Johan, a native of Holland, who runs the apprentice training program at General Electric's Erie, Pennsylvania plant. All his waking hours at work and at home are spent in counseling and encouraging young men to educate themselves and get ahead. His protégés number in the thousands. Serving his community is almost a career to Anthony Sirio, a plumber and steam fitter at Electronics Park in Syracuse, New York. He's serving his fifth term as mayor of his hometown of Fabius. He's a member of the volunteer fire department, and he manages the team in the Little League and the Pony League. We could mention many, many more who all through the year live in the faith and brotherhood of Christmas. Next week, we bring you an exciting story, The Shadow Outside, starring the lovely and talented Terry Moore. Meanwhile, from General Electric and from my family and myself, a merry, merry Christmas. Patty, don't you want to say Merry Christmas? Well? Merry Christmas. Right.